Hello, everybody. The Black Hills State softball team dropped a doubleheader to Fort Lewis yesterday, but there was a bright spot as the Yellow Jackets set the school record for most doubles in a single season with 57. Black Hills State hosts Colorado Christian Fair pair doubleheaders on Saturday and Sunday. We have some college football news to tell you about this evening as Ryan Freeman has been named South Dakota Mines new offensive coordinator and wide receivers coach. Freeman brings over 10 years of college coaching experience to the job. He spent the past two seasons at the Division I level working as the University of Memphis's offensive research analyst. Last season, the Tankers averaged an impressive 39 points per game before Memphis. Freeman also worked at Marshall University in West Virginia, and he's no stranger to the area as he graduated from Black Hill State in 2014. It was an exciting day in the world of high school girls golf as top teams from around the region gathered at Meadowbrook for the Cobbler Raider invite. Andrew Lynn was there to take in the action today and has more. On Monday morning, girls from eight area teams teed off at the Meadowbrook Golf Course as a part of the Raider Cobbler invite. Right off the hole six green, Rapid City Stevens Jr. Lauren Knapp positions this ball right in front of the cup and in a great spot. She would later tap it in for par. To hole eight, on the fringe, it's Peyton Peterson of O'Gorman. Ten feet back, she had quite the time getting to the spot, but when she did, she delivered. Peterson lines up the putter and drops it in for par as well. Staying on the front nine, this is St. Thomas Moore's Caitlin Strand with her approach shot, one of her best of the day dribbles it up the green behind the pin. It would take her a couple putts to get it to fall, but she stays even on the hole. To the right of her on nine, we head back to Lauren Knapp of Stevens. Another well hit ball. This one just a little bit short still on the green. The junior would make par. Around the bend we go. On the back nine, Knapp drives her tee shot far right, but corrects it on the next shot. From the other side of the cart path, the Raider plays the ball off the hill. She would tap it in for par two. STM's Caitlin Strand won the group at five over. Knapp in second at nine over, and O'Gorman's Peterson at plus 13. Uh, I think that um, trying to teach them some patience. Uh, I think golf has to have a little patience. We shouldn't just, uh, you know, find our ball and get up to it and, and hit it as fast as we can. However, you know, um, the pace of play needs to keep up for them, and that's a big thing issue. But I, I think again, but as you're walking to your ball, every time you get ready to prepare a shot, is, is trying to just have that visualization. As of right now, we haven't had too many. We've only been outside a handful of times this year so far. Um, I'd say this is our second round we played, but we've been outside maybe five times for practice. Uh, it's just been a tough spring so far. So I've just told our girls go out, compete, have some fun, and we really aren't going to worry about the scores right now. It's nice to have a little bit more meaningful of a practice inside. You know, we, we've always kind of been able to chip, chip and putt, you know, uh, hit into a net here and there, but the, the kids are really opening up a bit more to an indoor practice now that we have that simulator. And Coach Rotella's Stevens girls team finished first as a team. O'Gorman took second with St. Thomas Moore third and Rapid City Christian fourth. Major League Baseball tonight. Twins came up on the short end falling to the Orioles by the score of 7-4. to four. And the Rockies came up just short losing to the Phillies 2-1 to one in 10 innings. Well, that's a look at sports. We'll be right back.